I got an email today and a YouTuber had a question about the full wave rectifier circuit in uh, my book here, the vacuum tube shortwave radio. And I'll talk more about this a little later. But if you go to page 27 in this book, this is the diagram I'm going to use. And you can see the primary is hooked up to 120 volts and on the other side the secondaries we've got three six volt AC and five volt for the rectifier tube and then the secondary is a step up winding and between pins four and six is about 700 volts AC the filaments for this tube is two and eight which goes to a 5 volt AC supply and its job is to heat the filament so the tube will function. Now we're going to have two scenarios to look at when the secondary is in this configuration we've got positive on pin 6 and we can call that plate A and its negative is the center tap to ground. And if we take a look at pin 4, it's negative. And the positive for it is at the center tap to ground. Well, electrons will only flow when the filament is negative and the plate is positive. So that means that plate A we're going to have current flowing in it. The next scenario is this. Pin 4, or plate B, is positive, so this side is going to conduct. Let's take a look at what this would look like at this point, but without the filter. Here's another drawing from my book and the top line is a sine wave and this is on the primary side of the power transformer and the bottom line is after the 5Y3 has rectified the high voltage and we end up with A and B about 350 volts and it's all positive. Now if we had a half wave rectifier here what we would have on the bottom line we would either have all A's or all B's but since this is a full wave rectifier we have both. Now let's take a look at what this filter does to this pulsating DC voltage that's coming from the 5Y3. Here's another drawing from the book and down at the bottom you can see the pulsating DC A and B and when it gets to point C where we have a filter capacitor, C35. We can see that it's, we've got some ripples, but it's pretty smooth at that point. But it still would be too noisy to use. So when it passes through that field coil, it's a hundred, or uh, excuse me, 1060 ohms field coil and there's another filter on the other side C34 at point D you can see that it is a very smooth DC and we have about 280 volts at that point. If you would like to download my 
book and it is a free download go to my YouTube channel it is All American 5 Radio and scroll down just a little bit and I do have some links that you can click on this first one goes to my home page which I may change the contents on that from time to time but here is another active link that will take you to the download page for my book there's also an inactive link right here and you could copy and paste that in to the URL and get to the download page. I hope this video has helped you understand the full wave rectifier circuit tube type and I hope you download my book. I think you'll find it very interesting. Thanks for watching.